I don't know who's teaching these young men to disrespect women so much, man. Especially our black women putting them in dumpsters. Hitting them in here with skateboards like they motherfucking Hexar Jim Duggan and shit. I don't know what the fuck was going on, man. But this shit, something need to, this need to be some type of intervention going on, man. Because this is not the way you treat a woman, man. This is terrible. Damn. I mean, he knocks her out. I know her jaw broke. I know she gonna suffer all kind of damages. And he looked like he got. He don't have two nickels to rub together. So. She's gonna get nothing out of this. Damn. That's hard to watch. Oh shit! Yo, I lived in a pro. I'm talking about. I lived in a bad place. Ain't none of that shit like that. None of that type of shit with my sisters. That was my sister. I would just straight destroy this kid. And I don't come up and and fight you and none of that shit. The same way that was my sister. The same way he did. Same way he did. My sister would did him. I'll tell y'all a quick story. This little motherfucker threw a brick. His name was Tim Tim. Before we moved into projects. I think I was like 12. Threw a brick and fucked my sister I up. I fucked this nigga up. I beat the shit out him so much, man. Motherfuckers used to tell me. Every time I saw him, I will put foot in his ass. Every way. He could be with a crowd of his family. I would just walk up to him, blast them, blam, and just take off. I beat him up so bad, they had to call the cops and they, like, they try to settle that shit. But when they seen it, when they seen what he did to my sister, they kind of understood where, where, the, where the energy was coming from. But I fucked his ass up. I let him, I changed his life. I changed his life. He he ain't want to do nothing. He sit around with his homeboys. I used to watch his ass. And his homeboys used to do shit. And he was hesitant. Because he was like, yo, she might have a brother. He might come back and start fucking him. Brother, she might have a brother. But yeah, man, this is crazy, man. This is this is some bugged out shit right here, man. And please don't, if you're a good guy, please don't come and tell me. Uh, I'm, 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 um. I'm ashamed to be black because don't don't compare yourself to a piece of shit like this. We have pieces of shit in every fucking um, race. Got white people that's that's doctors and lawyers that's doing good. Got black people doctors and lawyers that's doing good. Got got pilgrims doing good. Got Indians that's doing good. They got we got pieces of shit that's Indians and pieces of shit that's pilgrims. So you got pieces of shit that black motherfuckers. You can't compare yourself to the low lives, man. We got low lives in every race. So so so, so knock that sh- so knock it off, man. Don't need you got it got white boys abusing their women. You got niggas it got it got low lives in every race. So don't don't compare yourself to a low life. But this shit is this shit happened too frequent in our race, man. We don't have no respect. A lot of no young it's a lot of youth a lot of old motherfuckers don't have respect for the women, man. Have respect for the women, man. Don't be going around beating the women up the head with skateboards and shit, yo. That's not cool, man.